Welcome to Deepest Darkest Spain. This time we are in Toledo. Once again. Toledo, the city of three cultures, is situated 70 kilometers south of Madrid. We just left the train and we walked a little bit and we got to this bridge that is called Puente de la Alcántara. We really recommend you this access because it's very pretty. Enough of that, let's go check it out. Toledo. Muy sexy, Johnny. And the nice thing about going up all those stairs is that you get very nice views. We always say this, but it's true. Just don't follow the crowd. Go off and get lost in, in the city. Go up different scary looking lanes like this one. <laughs> Toledo is a city with lots of tiny wee lanes. Word of advice, don't forget to look up. So much to see up there. Ooh, Jesus. We are now in Iglesia San Roman. It's the center of Toledo and the highest point of the city. And we're going up to the Mirador. <laughs> Christian church and right next door to it we find this synagogue. It just shows that even in the medieval time the three cultures lived in relative harmony. We need coffee and we need tostada. So we've just stopped for a bite to eat and a wee coffee in a place called Bar de Sierra. It's pretty nice. Coffee's good. Is it? Yeah. Let me try. Ooh, very nice. After that shot of energy with our breakfast, we're heading to Santa Maria Blanca Church. Mm -hmm. But it was before a synagogue, so the architecture seems to be very interesting, so we're going to see. <laughs> So originally this building was built as a synagogue for the Jewish quarter, but then it was outfitted to become a Christian church. But during that time they used Moorish stonemasons to do the decoration and the refurb. So it's a, a blend of three cultures. If there's one building I suggest you visit to see the three cultures coming together, this is definitely it. This building is worth the visit, really. You can see, as Johnny was saying before, the blend of the three cultures and it's very impressive. So wide, love it. Whoop. So here we are in Igles eh, no, Monasterio de San Juan and it's very, very nice. you're not allowed to depict nature. So that's why they have really ornate mathematical patterns. Here it's all really natural forms. It's all very organic. It's kind of interesting, the difference in artistic things. What's the word I'm looking for? Architecture. That one, architecture. <laughs> this is Johnny with a couple of drinks. 
outside the building there are lots of chains hanging. There's a story behind those chains in there. Uh, in the Jewish quarter there is a house that is called the House of Chains. In there there was a Jewish man, a builder of chains, and he was sending all his work away. But I read that he didn't know where, where the chains were going. And when Granada was taken again by the Christians, they were coming back with the chains and they have the stamp of this Jewish man manufacturation and he was not very accepted in the city anymore just for building the chains and they put them outside the building So we're on our way to the Alcazar It was a fortification The name is given by the Moors because it means strong, strength and it's a beautiful building <laughs> to the cathedral that is the second biggest gothic cathedral of Spain with the biggest Spanish flag too near the cathedral there is a tiny street that is called Calle Pozo Amargo the name is because of this and there is a story behind this well uh, one of the richest Jewish men he was called Libis he had a daughter this, his daughter fell in love with a Christian guy and he found out and one of the nights that they were meeting in here uh, he killed him and the daughter came she found out that he was dead he didn't know that it was his dad and she went super super sad and depressed and one night that she was like going crazy she heard the guy under there crying and she went to see she fell and she died too it's a very sad story and that's why <laughs> this is kind of known in the city. Never fall in love. What are you talking about? You're in love with me. <laughs> We're coming to the end of our trip here in Toledo. We've had a lot of fun. But we didn't manage to cover everything you can do here. So if you can stay the night, we recommend to spend the night here. Before finishing our trip, we came to this place that is called El Botanico and we're having a beer from Toledo. It's a wee bit different. It's not your traditional Spanish place, but it's, it's lovely. Very cozy and very nice for winter afternoon, so we really recommend to come here. same place that we started this day trip to Toledo and from here we say goodbye. goodbye if you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe and share of course share see you next time join us join us don't worry about us we can't control ourselves with the beer Mother yeah can we get one no